This episode is brought to you by Bumble. So you want to find someone you're compatible with, specifically someone who's ready for a serious connection, totally open to having kids in the future, is a tall rock climbing Libra, and loves rom-coms with vegan pizzas on Tuesdays just as much as you do. Bumble knows that you know exactly what's right for you. So whatever it is you're looking for, Bumble's features can help you find it. Date now on Bumble. Hi, you guys. It's Yaz. And today I want to talk about common phrases that a lot of narcissists use. And when you hear these phrases, it should run a light bulb up in your head. Uh Uh-oh, I could be dealing with a narcissist. When you hear this from a narcissist, you may want to run, okay? So I'm going to go into common phrases that narcissists use. And, you know, a lot of them, they say the same things because, again, their intent is the same to break you down or to win you over with love bombing. So let me start from the beginning. Common phrases that narcissists use, and this is during the love bombing stage, is they'll say, I love you right away, okay? It's too good to be too, it's too good too soon. They're saying they love you within the first week, the first month. They're moving fast with the relationship. Or they'll say another common phrase that narcissists love to say is, I love you unconditionally. And I actually had a narcissist that did that to me and then went to the new supply and was saying the same thing to the new supply, saying how he loved her unconditionally. So they use the same lines, they use the same phrases to manipulate, okay? This is their manipulation tactics is to get over and manipulate. So they'll say, I love you unconditionally. They're trying to fool you. Another common phrase that narcissists use in the beginning is they call you their soulmate or their twin flame. They want you to think that they, you know, they are the angel of light that has walked into your life and that you are meant to be with them. They are your soulmate. Their their job is trying to convince you that they were destined to to be with you. And why is that? To earn your trust. Because once they earn your trust, then they know they can get whatever supply they want to get out of you, which could be sex, money, a place to live, or they just love having their ego fed. Another thing that a dirty narcissist will say in the beginning is they'll use God and they'll say something like, Well, God brought us together, or let's pray together, or I had a dream about you. God told me somebody was going to be in my life, and that's you. These are all common phrases that narcissists use to fool you in the beginning, to try to get you to believe that, you know what, they are your soulmate, okay? Now, as the relationship goes on and the narcissist, you know, starts to gaslight you, and devalue you, they're going to use other phrases. So what are some other things that narcissists say to, you know, devalue you as the relationship goes on and the narcissist is getting bored with you, or maybe they're talking to other supply out there. And now they're, they're feeling like you're, you're not going to meet all their needs or that you're, they're just bored with you. What are they going to do? They're going to call you insecure. Okay. So I'm going to run down a list of phrases that narcissists love to use to try to plant that insecurity in you. And what they do is they project all of their insecurity and their toxicities onto you. And they use these phrases. They'll call you insecure. They'll say, you don't have trust, okay? They'll say, the problem is you. They'll say, you know, you need to look in the mirror, They're going to say everything that they could say to make you think that you're the problem. And why is that? Because they want to confuse you so that they don't have to take accountability when you call them out for something or they break your boundaries. They're going to make you doubt yourself. So they'll call you insecure. They'll say you have trust issues. And this is why you should never, ever tell a narcissist, you know, everything that you went through from your prior relationship, because they're going to use it against you. So if you didn't trust or you were cheated on from your prior partner and you told the narcissist that, that narcissist is going to use that information 
and they're going to tell you how you have trust issues, okay? Even though everything that you're seeing is a red flag and your gut is telling you that, you know, it's not making sense. Maybe they're staying out all night. You know, maybe they're not picking up their phone. You know, nobody tells you you have trust issues more than a creeping narcissist. So these are common things that a narcissist will use, common phrases that they use to confuse you. They will also call you jealous, all right? They're gonna say that you are jealous of them or you're jealous of other people. They, again, they're trying to devalue you and make you feel like you're less than, you're a jealous person, you're jealous of everybody else because you're calling people out on something. Another common phrase that narcissists love to say is they love to call you an angry person. Nobody loves to call you an angry person more than a narcissist that's trying to discredit you so that everybody thinks you're crazy, okay? So they'll always say, oh, why do you got to keep arguing with me? Anytime you bring up something to the narcissist, what are they going to say? They're going to say that you're always arguing with them. And what is this going to do? This is going to make you second, you know, think twice about bringing anything up to the narcissist. You're going to be afraid to bring up anything to the narcissist because you don't want them to think that you're always fighting with them or that you're an angry person. This is the way that they condition you to shut up. Okay. So, you know, these are all the phrases that they use. All right. Another thing that narcissists love to say, another phrase they use is, you pick on everything. They love to say that. You pick on everything. No, you're just calling them out for their BS. You're not picking on everything. You're trying to make them accountable for when they're wrong, but they'll try to, again, plant the seed to make you think that you're nitpicky, you pick on everything, you're all about drama. This is another common phrase of the narcissist is to say, you know something, and, and this is what they love to say. They say, I'm not about drama, okay? You're all about the drama. And the joke of it is the narcissist is all about the drama because the narcissist can't sit down and resolve whatever problems you have. So they're the ones who make the drama by walking out in the middle of the conversation and then going silent on you. That is a drama king or drama queen. So, but they'll, what they'll do is they'll say, you're all about the drama. No, again, I'm not about the drama. I'm just trying to get you to be accountable for what you did, okay? But these are the common phrases that they use, all right? The other common phrase that narcissists love to use, and this is when they are, you know, they're cheating or they're creeping, and you ask them about that person that they keep bringing up their name. When they keep bringing up somebody's name, it could be somebody at work or a homegirl or a homeboy, what is that narcissist going to say? What do they all say? They call the other supply, well, that's just a friend. That's just a friend, okay? And what you need to do is you need to trust your gut. Because if they keep bringing this person up night and day, night and day, night and day, guess what? That person is more than just a friend 99% of the time. But they mask their other supply by calling them just a friend, all right? Common, common. This is game, you guys. These people are playing game on you when they tell you, oh, I'm going to hang out with my homeboy or homegirl. You know, it's just a friend, all right? Meanwhile, they're having sex with them or situationships with them, and you're thinking it's just a friend, all right? Another common thing that narcissists love to say, common phrase of the narcissist, is they love to blame you and say that you are cheating on them. Nobody's a guiltier person of cheating than someone who's always pointing the finger on you, okay? They're blame shifting. They're trying to get all of that shame off them and put it on you. Even if you haven't given them any reason to think that you are cheating, they're going to keep doing that. And what are you going to do? You're going to sit there and defend yourself like you shouldn't do. And this is what they want because now the blame is off them. Now you're sitting there defending yourself. And what is the narcissist doing? They're mind fucking you. That's what they're trying to do. Okay. So recognize it. They'll, they'll do that a lot 
because that's what they want to believe. So to justify their cheating, they want to believe that you're cheating. So a lot of narcissists will accuse you of cheating. And for all the people that come back at me and say, well, I accused my partner of cheating and I wasn't cheating. We're not talking about you. Okay. Oh my gosh. Everybody always thinks in absolutes. I'm talking about the narcissist. These are common phrases, common tactics, and, and common sayings that the narcissist does to confuse you. Okay. Another one, you guys, and this is classic. A, nar a common phrase of the narcissist is to call you crazy. What better way to discredit you and dis to discredit you to outsiders than to call you crazy? They're going to go back to everybody, all the flying monkeys or people that you know mutually, family, friends, and say that you're crazy and you have something wrong with yourself, okay? What better way to take the heat off them and, and, and put it on you. And the reason that they do that is because they're afraid you're going to expose them. So what do they got to do? They've got to discredit you so that if you say anything to any other people, people are going to just think that you're a nut job, you're crazy, because the narcissist has already manipulated these outside people to think that you are crazy. And that's why they do the reactive abuse. They stay calm. They stay cool. They stay in control if you're dealing with a covert narcissist. And they trigger you where you pop off and you get angry. And you're justified in getting angry. But what they'll do is they'll minimize the situation and make like it's a nothing situation and that you have anger issues and that you are crazy. They know exactly what they're doing and it's manipulation. So it's like this. If anybody calls you crazy, that is blatant disrespect. You don't deal with them whatsoever. Okay. And if somebody calls you crazy, you check them and you tell them you ever call me that again, you and I will not be talking. You're not going to discredit me my mental state, or my character. I will not deal with you, okay? And you walk away and you let them know you're not gonna fall into the, you know, the trap of defending yourself or yelling and screaming because that's what they want. They wanna see you get angry. They they're sadistic. They thrive on knowing that they upset you. So that's a common phrase that they try to do and to make you look bad in front of everybody else. And they use the, you need therapy card. Oh, you know, there's something wrong with you. You're bipolar. You know, you really need to get help. And then they try to do it from a place of concern when really they're not concerned at all. What they're trying to do is basically, again, discredit you and make you look crazy because they are afraid of the exposure that you will expose them for being toxic, all right? Now, I'm moving along, and this is typical, okay? Okay, now when a narcissist, okay, because I wrote down all these sayings that narcissists have said and things I've heard over the years from narcissists, you know, in relationships, when it gets to the point where it's right about the discard phase, what a narcissist is gonna say to you, all right, and this is during devaluation as well, they're going to say, you'll never do better than me, or nobody wants you. Who wants you? You've got kids. Nobody wants somebody with kids, or nobody wants you because of your age. They love to throw up the age card because they know that people are sensitive about their age, or they love to bring up <clears throat> somebody's weight. Oh, you know, you're too heavy, you're too thin. They're going to say anything that you are sensitive about in order to hurt you. Because at that point, it's like they're going to pull all punches and, and try to really cut you up. So what they love to say is nobody wants you or nobody's going to ever want you or you'll never do better than me. Okay. Common, common phrases of the narcissist. Now, another common thing that narcissists say, and I just threw this one in you guys, is a lot of times when you're with a narcissist, they're on their phones, all right? 
And you're, all, you're, you're sitting there and you're like, why do you got to be on your phone all the time? Narcissists have to be on their phones because they're constantly contacting other supply. But what they do is they mask it. And how do a lot of them mask it? What are they going to say? They're going to say, I'm just playing games on my phone. Why do you bother me? I play games on my phone. Now, some of them do play games and some of them are not playing games and they are, you know, on their, they use that as an excuse to, you know, inbox other people and to be on their phone. So what are they going to say? They're going to say that they're, you know, they're playing games or they're going to say they're doing work on their phone. They're going to make up excuses why they're on their phone 24 seven. Okay. So these are some common phrases that narcissists love to use. And when you hear them, you've got to, you've got to look beyond the words and say to yourself, what is this person's intent? In the beginning of love bombing, their intent is to win you over. Their intent is to earn your trust. Their intent is still to get that supply. So that's when the narcissist is going to be the nicest. As the relationship goes on and you become like the old shoe and they get tired of you and they, they get stronger if they have, you know, a supply or supplies on the outside that they're talking to, this is when they start to devalue you because now they don't care because they have other people to replace you that they're, they're grooming on the outside and getting them ready because they know that they're eventually going to get rid of you somehow, all right? Or they're going to leave you hanging and breadcrumb you and just use you, you know, for an ego boost or for some kind of supply you could offer them, which could be sex or, you know, just attention. Then they'll start to devalue you. And, you know, like I said, the devaluation phrases, common phrases that they love to say is you're insecure, you have trust issues, you're jealous, you know, um, you don't know what you're doing, you know, all these kind of things to make you feel like the problem is you. Typical, typical narcissistic behavior is to break you down and make you feel like you are less than. That is the narcissist's goal at that point is to make you feel like you are less than, okay? And to call you crazy and you need therapy and to make you feel like you'll never do better than them. So you guys, I just did a brief list of common phrases that narcissists say. If you have any you know, phrases you wanna add, drop them in the comments and let everybody be aware of common phrases that narcissists say. I hope that helps you and if it does, Please hit the subscribe button. Please share the podcast and have a great day, you guys. If you guys are having a problem in your dating or relationship or you're dealing with somebody maybe that's narcissistic, you don't know if they're a narcissist or you're just having problems, you're in a toxic relationship and you need some clarity on it, Go to the link in the podcast description for my website where I offer email and phone coaching. If you have a quick question, just a quick question, and you want to get a video sent back to you answering your question, there's also a link there for Vizio where I will send you a personalized video answering your question. Hi, you guys, it's Yaz, and I want to tell you about my two books on Amazon. The first book is Regain Your Power. It's all about power and relationship. Who has the power in the relationship? And it goes into all of that, okay? The other book is Signs He's Not Into You, He's Wasting Your Time, okay? Check it out. It gives you a lot of good clues as to whether you're with somebody who's a real one or somebody who's just going to waste your time. You could read them both with Kindle's free trial membership. So check it out. Link is in the podcast description. Hi, you guys. I just want to let you know that The Game Exposed now has their merchandise available. Check out the link in the bio 
and you could go check it out. There's cool hoodies, cool sweatpants, cool hats. So go to the bio for the link. And also, don't forget to follow me on Facebook at the game exp 123 and also on Instagram, the game exp 123. Okay, and have a great day. Thank you.